Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, today we are going to be looking at a new rule set. This has been recommended to us by Ken and it's a puzzle by Sujoiku called Min Max Mosaic and um, yeah, this features some odd cages which don't show the total of the whole cage but the total of the minimum and the maximum digit within it. Simple enough, you would think, but I don't remember this being done before in that way. Um, We'll have a look at it in a moment. But coming up in just two, no, three days time. Um, Solver in Sudoku Land, Demono's new adventure hunt story involving solving Sudoku. And that will be our patron reward for November the 1st. We're really looking forward to bringing it to you. Um, yeah, that'll be out in three days. Do join us on Patreon if you haven't already. We very much welcome you there if you can. And you will get the chance to try that if you're at least a $2 a month Patreon. Um, and our apps cost very little more. Another great value for money grab for you. They are all available on the links in the, in the app bit. In the description field, go to the CTC app, especially for Line Sudoku and the gas apps. Um, all great fun. Give it a try. You will, you will not regret it and you will come back for more, I believe. Um... And there's our merchandise, you might come back for more of that. And Sven Sudoku Pad, which is great as well. They're all in the links. But the first link in the description field is to this puzzle. And I am going to read the rules now. After a very quick mention of thanks to those people helping out Hildegard in the Discord server. I think it was very kind of you and I hope she gets free of her AI troubles. Um, I think that's in the Puzzle Hunt channel. Anyway... Let's have a look at the rules of Min Max Mosaic. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we're putting one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. All cages are Min Max killer cages, and dig digits in a Min Max killer cage do not repeat. The clue <clears throat> in the top left indicates the sum of the smallest and the largest digit that are contained in the cage. For example, a Cage containing the digits 1, 3, 6, and 8 would have the min max killer clue 9, which equals 1 plus 8, the smallest and the largest digit. We've also got some marked diagonals, and they don't have any repeats, so they must each be a set of the digits 1 to 9. Give it a try. I am going to kick off the clock now and say, let's get cracking. Um... Right, so we can't just look at an 8 cage and know there's a 1 in it this time. We've got a 7 cage here, but although that probably has a 1 and a 6 in it, it could be made up of 2, 3, 4, 5, and then you'd add the 2 and the 5 to get to 7. So I find it a bit difficult to know where to start. Again, I would... Well... I would look at an 11 cage and think 1, 2, 3, 5. Inappropriate this time. In fact, there's no 1 in the 11 cage because the smallest digit is going to be a 2 to add to the maximum possible largest digit. Now, 8 here. No, I was going to say that must have a 1 and a 7. Oh, 5! Yeah, this can't be minimum two and maximum three because what other digit could you put in them so there is a one and a four in this cage and either two or three to go with them and then in the eight cage there's no one ah and this can't be a minimum three and a maximum five which is an another of the three ways of making up the sum of eight with two digits because although the, this cage in its own right could be 3, 4, and 5, that would ruin this cage, in which you'd only have the digits 1 and 2 left. So 2 and 6 must be in this cage, and therefore 2 is not in this 5 cage, which is now a 1, 3, 4. And the other middly digit that's not 2 or 6, but goes in between them in this cage, is a 5. So... So maybe there was some way of working out from 13 among two three-cell cages that that had to use the low digits. Ah, look, 7, 8, 9 in these cells in the rest of the box, but here in the 8 cage, we can't put 8 or 9 because it would have to add 
to something. Well, okay, I don't mean to imply that eight has to be the highest digit in a five cell cage. But if it isn't, nine is. And even that adding to something would bust this eight total. So there is a seven in it, and there is a one, and some digits from in between one and seven. So these don't have a seven. Oh, lovely. And this nine cage now has a digit here, which must be an eight. I mean, this is the thing to learn, that a nine cage cannot have a nine in it, and an eight cage can't have an eight or a nine in it. It took me a while to learn this, but we're there now. So there is a one. Oh, and we've got a sort of X-wing on ones now. Oh, that could be helpful. Right. Um, what do I mean by an X-wing on ones? I mean that because we know there is a one in this group of cells to make up the second value in the nine cage that the nine is reporting on, and because we've proved there is a one in this five cage, that's going to use up the ones in rows eight and nine. So the one in row seven can't be in either of these cages. It must be over here. It also can't be in the 13 cage. Actually, this is something to look at here. One, two, and three can't be in the 13 cage. One, two, three, and four can't be in the 14 cage. So none of one, two, and three can be in either of them. I mean, I hope you can see why. If you had three, say, in the 13 cage, as the minimum digit. It would need a maximum digit of 10, which is obviously inappropriate. And the situation just gets worse for digits lower than three and worse still in the 14 cage. So anyway, this must be a one, two, three set. We know that's not one from the X wing. Um, now we know that four isn't in the 14 cage. So four is in the 13 cage and is the minimum digit. Nine must be the maximum digit, which doesn't go there. Uh, I shouldn't have shown them like that. I should have shown them like that. And then the 14 cage, what are its minimum and maximum? They could be six and eight. Oh, they can't be five and nine because nine is in the 13 cage. So they are six and eight. It's a six, seven, eight cage. We know where the eight goes from this. Eight, six, seven there. Four, five, nine now in this cage. And that's not nine. And there we go. We've got a lot of fill done. That's good. Now. Okay, seven and nine have to go in these cages. Well, nine can't go in the nine cage. So nine must go down here in the 12 cage. It's the maximum. The minimum digit is three. So two is not in that cage now. And that gives us a bit more fill. Um, maybe not more than that. Oh, no, seven. No, I don't know. Seven could go in either of those. So... Ah, two, because two is in one of those cells, it's not in those, or indeed there. So two not being in those means it's in one of these cages, but it's not allowed in the 12 cage where it would be the new minimum digit. So it must go in the nine cage. And therefore the only possible two in the bottom row, yes, there's a two definitely in one of those. So they can't be two, this must be two. Now there's a one in one of those cells and that's not one. Actually, that is three, given that three that we got there. And that's a one, four pair. This is very clever. So this is now a nine, five pair. This digit can be anything except one, two, five, and nine. Oh, it can't actually, it can't be three and eight either. So I could write four, six, seven as candidates. Yeah, this bottom section was clearly where all the, the good work could be done. That's intriguing. Um, let's not forget the diagonals. They might matter, although I don't think they do yet. Seven, nine, one, two. There, uh, I was going to say there's a five X-wing, but that doesn't matter. We already know fives in one of those cells. Okay, we have to get up the grid a bit now. Is it this eight and nine or this seven? Could this be two, three, four, five? I think it still could. I can't see why not. Um, 
Okay, what? Okay, nine in this box can't go in the nine or eight cage. So nine has to go in one of those cells. Um, eight could go there. Maybe I should look here. Right, where one and two cannot go in these cells because they're too minimal for a 12 or 15 total. So one and two have to be in this group. Um, what is the reason? How am I meant? Oh no, one can't be in the 11 cage because 11 needs, since its maximum digit is nine, the minimum possible minimum digit is two. I hope you're following me. Anyway, there's now a one in one of those cells, so this is not a one. So now we've got an X-wing on ones, um, but not on twos. Hmm. Can I say that th three could be in here with a nine? Oh, three and four can't be in the 15 cage. In fact, the 15 cage, oh, we know the minimum and maximum. It can't be seven and eight because there's nothing to go in between them. So it is six and nine in that cage. Now the 12 cage can't have a nine in it, so it can't have a three in it. So the three is also in one of these cells. In fact, it's in one of those two with a one. And that's where two goes. Ah, oh, I see. Gosh, I'm sorry, this has taken me a while. So four is now in this cage, along with five and eight as the maximum. Four and eight equal 12. And this cage is now six, seven, nine. And we can place the seven. There's a nice symmetry developing to the puzzle, I must say. Um, now this 11 cage needs a 9 in it. I can tell it doesn't have a 7 in it because of those two 7s. So there is a 7 in one of these. Oh, the 9. Look, that's a 6-9 pair. So the 9 can't go in column 1. The 9 goes there. And down column 1 we have 6 9 2, 7, 3. Well, we need an eight. Now, can I run into box three somehow? I, it feels tricky, but... Uh, I don't quite know. Diagonals? Are they doing something on this one yet? Six. Not obviously. Oh, look, there's a nine there, so that's not nine. So nine is either in the ten cage along with a one, which would make this definitely... No, it wouldn't. Two, three, four, five. No, not necessarily. Or nine is in there with a three. Now, this is one or three in a nine cage. Can we afford to keep... Ah, look, two... Yes, okay, this is good. Two... Can't be in those cells, and it can't be in the 12 cage. It's too small a digit. So it is physically there by Sudoku, effectively, now. Then there's going to be a two in one of those cells. Now... That can't be a two. Uh, that's not true. That could be a two if this was a one eight pair. Wow, well, you do have to be careful with this puzzle. Two there doesn't actually prove whether that's a one or a three. If that's a one, one of these will be an eight. But if that's a three, oh, and then this is either a one eight pair or this cell is a seven. That's weird, isn't it, how some of this nested if statement stuff works in this puzzle. Oh, there's an eight. That is as basic as it gets. There's an eight in one of those. Oh, 
I feel like I must be able to do something here now and I can't work out what it is. Uh, maybe finding things that are off diagonals. It's difficult though, because I don't know what is off diagonals everywhere yet. I know what some things are. No, I don't know. I'm going to have to do something a little bit cleverer, I think, next. Now, there is a one in this cage. One, three, nine, eight are definitely used here. So one is in those cells. Three is in one of those two, just by Sudoku. That's interesting. Not there. There is a three in one of those. Um, but these, they don't include one, so they're selected from four, five, eight. This isn't two. I don't know, I don't think that's easy. Right, let's think about... Okay, where is the second nine? That's what I have to ask in this group of cells. There's one in those two, but the other one can't come there, can't be in a nine cage or a nine cage or an eight cage. So it is in this 12 cage somewhere, along with a three. Um, and not with a one. So the one in box two. No, I don't know. Ah, feeling a bit cheated because I keep thinking I've got this and I know what's going on. I really don't. Okay, let, let me just concentrate a bit harder because I'm really not quite understanding how to finish it. Um, and I talk about finishing it. I mean, I know I've only got about a dozen numbers in the grid. So, no, I was going to say there is a one in the cages here, not necessarily. Right, let's think about these again. Could this eight cage be three, four, five? Mm, I reckon the answer's maybe, weirdly. And I, yeah, I don't even have an X wing on nines there that puts nine here necessarily, I don't think. Oh, goodness. Can that be two? Only if this was eight and one. Now, does that give me a problem? That would make this three. Yeah, okay, this can't be. I mean, this is a bit complicated, I think, but it's definitely true. If this was two, since we can't put a seven here, the high and low digit in this cage would have to be eight and one. And that would be two. Now, the interesting thing about that is that the eight one pair would put a three here. And now this cage would either need, I think I discussed this, would either need a seven here or a one eight pair to make it up. And now I'm not sure, maybe it does work. I thought it didn't and I thought it broke in this box, but now I'm absolutely not sure. Right, if that's two, 
go through this in my head again. Ah, oh, here's why that can't be a 2 with a 1-8 pair there. That 2 would make that a 1 and that an 8 and none of them could go in the corner. So that is not a 2. There is a 2 in this 8 cage. Now, this can't have 4 as the minimum, 5 as the maximum. There's no number that goes between them. Could it be a 3-6 pair with either 4 or 5 in it? Maybe. Otherwise, now, it's a 1-8 pair. But that's difficult. If it's a 1-8 pair, we have to put 8 there, 1 in one of these cells, which makes that a 2... Maybe it's not so difficult. Oh, gosh. I thought I was going to be able to complete this, but this could still have a one in it. It could be one, two, seven. Three something six. Right, but this, this cage can't have an eight in it. So eight is in one of these three cells. I don't know. I don't know. It's very... I'm not being very bright here, am I? What am I getting wrong? One, two, three. One, three, nine, eight. It's a seven in one of those. I'm just rehashing all the stuff that we've learned already. Two, five, nine. One of those... It's a one... Gosh, I don't know. Right, two and one don't go in that cage. Oh, I was going to say, so the two ones... Okay, I've got something there. There is only one one in that, that section, because box three is only allowed one one. So there's maximum one one in that section. There is no one here, and there are no ones in any of those cells. So the second one in rows one and two is in this cage, which therefore has got a one in it somewhere, and also an eight, which must be in one of these two cells. And that is a hard one conclusion and probably doesn't actually do anything else. But there is a one in this cage. So does that stop this being a three? Or this being a seven? I don't think it does either thing. And that's why I'm a little bit confused as to why I thought that was not why I thought that was going to help, but whether it does help at all. Oh my goodness. What's going... Why can't I get another number? I've just made a decent deduction. It doesn't lead to anything. So that's probably a one. Okay, if that's not a one, it's a three. And then you've got eight one here now. And that's a one, and that becomes a two. Which puts a two here. And I don't know what else. I feel like it's not meant to be this hard, but I am finding it very difficult. So the two ones in rows one and two, there's one there and one somewhere here. Now, maybe that's, if this was a one eight, that has to be eight and one of these is a one. Then you get a one here. 
And well, I don't know, you could still put a one there in the seven cage or in one of these. Gosh, I'm just not getting this, am I? <laughs> oh, that three there says that this is not where the three goes in the 12 cage. So there is a three in this box. in one of these cells. Now, does that stop that being a three? Because then there'd be a three here, then there'd have to be a three in one of these two cells. Doesn't stop that happening. That's perfectly valid. Goodness me. I don't didn't think this was meant to be this hard, but sometimes you just find it hard when other people don't. And that is Sudoku for you. Um, it's not on the diagonals. I don't, I don't see how I can learn anything because the central box is so untenanted. Right, think again. Now, if this was two, three, four, five, that would put a lot of pressure on things, wouldn't it? Um, oh, right. It's the same sort of question. Where did the two nines go in these two final columns? Oh, it's a really simple question. One of them can go in the 10 cage, but only one. The other one has to be right here. Ah, oh, how long has that question taken me to ask? Nine on the diagonal makes six in the corner. Six on the diagonal makes seven in the other corner. I feel like I've done stuff suddenly. Right, we've got one eight in these final two columns. The other one could go in the ten cage. Ah, where does the nine go in the ten cage? We know specifically now it goes there. That is not a nine. So there is a nine in this box and we now know it must be there. That can't be a three, so one of those is a three. Yeah, okay, we're, we're up to stuff now. So, come on, how does this lead on? Six, seven, two, nine. These are from one, three, four, five, eight. Oh, it's difficult for this to be three, six. Ah, if this cage had a three and a six in it, if they were the high and low, then this cage couldn't have three, five or two, six in it. It would have to be a one, seven min max. So then we'd have three, six, one, seven. And eight would have to be in one of those cells. And I don't know why that can't be. Let's just do some Sudoku instead. Three, that can't be six. No, there's not much Sudoku to do. Right. So I need to find another simple question, like worked with nine. Oh, there has to be a one in one of those cells. Now. There isn't a one in one of those cells, but... This still doesn't, ah, if that was two, three, four, five, that would be a one or a six from what everything it could see. The other one or six would come somewhere here. I still don't know. Seven, nine, six, six, seven, two, nine, eight. Um, come on, come on, come on, what's going on? That can't be in those. Right, come on, think again. If that's a one, one of those is a one then one of these two is a one. But if that's a one, I don't know. Why 
one has to be in one of these three cells. If it's there, that's a three. But if it's there, that's a three and that's a one. Now, does one have to be used in, as a minimum digit in one of these nines or eights? If that was three and six, then this is one and seven. So one is definitely a minimum digit in one of these cages. But annoyingly, it could still be right here. One, two, seven. In fact, no, I was going to say, is that the question? Where does seven go? The second, where does seven go in this column? It doesn't go here, but it could go here. And alternatively, it could be in one of these cells. Ah, my, my goodness. Thought this was going so well early on, and now I've just butted my head against a brick wall for a while. Right, there is a five in one of those cells for the column, so there is no five in the rest of this box. The rest of this cage is what I mean when I say box. That could be a two. Right, can this be two, six and a middling digit? In that case, this would have to have one, eight and another middling digit. But that middling digit, oh, it couldn't be seven. Oh, right. By Sudoku, seven is in one of these cells. If it's in this cage, it's a one, two, seven cage. Then this contains three, six. And then eight has to be in one of these two and one of those two. And that feels a bit powerful. What was that based on? Something forced this cage to be 127. I don't even remember what it was. Wow, things are not looking good, Mark. It's time to persevere. Okay, there's a nine in one of those two cells. That's just basic Sudoku at this point. <clears throat> And there's a nine, not on this diagonal. So in one of those two cells. Oh, that nine is looking at that. That really is the most basic Sudoku. So this can't be a nine on the diagonal. So that's a nine. And we've suddenly finished off the nines. Well, if only we could do that for some other digit. Um, that is not a helpful cage. Nine here, right, come on, three. If this was two, three, four, five. I don't know, I don't know what it does. If this is one, six as the min max, the six would have to be in one of those cells. Then there'd be a six in one of those two. Gosh, seven on this diagonal, not that interesting, can't be in the middle, that's all I know. Ooh, what do I? If seven was in one of those two cells, it would be an X-wing with sevens, then we'd have one here. Don't know what that does. Six, nine, seven, one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. Oh, crumbs, this is a weird old puzzle, isn't it? Three has to be in one of those cells. So there's no three here. There's no three here by Sudoku. 
now. That means there's either a three in this cage up here, or that's a three. And given the two, this being a three would mean that was a what two there and six here. Three, two, six there would need one and seven to be up here. There'd be an X wing on ones, which would make that a one. And this would be a three, and it can't be because I was positing this all on three being there. Wow. Well, I mean, that's complicated, but it does work. And what I'm seeing work there is that three can't be in any of these cells by Sudoku, given the fact that three is in one of those. Therefore, 3 is in one of these three cells. If it was there, this would have to be a 2-6 pair, because there is a 2 in them. And this... Where did I get 2 then? Well, hang on. 3 there would put a 1 there. That's maybe the way to look at it. Which would put a 2 here. And that would mean that had to be two, and this would be six. There was some problem with this a moment ago. Three there would need two six here. So one and seven would be in this. Oh. No, three, two, six there. One and eight would be in this. Yeah, which would put one in one of those cells, two there, one there, and three there. Wow, I mean, that's complicated, but this can't be a three. So there is a three up here in one of these top cells, possibly in the corner. And that means this is a one. And that means this is a three, and that's on the diagonal. Okay, not that that probably matters at the moment, but doesn't tell us anything about this cage, although we do know there isn't a three in it now. Um, but there is a 3 in this cage. Now, can it be 1, 3, 8? It would have to go 8, 3, 1 in that order. If not, 3 and 6 are the numbers. So it either goes 8, 3, 1, or 3 and 1 of those and 6 here and something else that could be four or five in these cells. So we are a bit limited there, but it hasn't exactly filled in the puzzle for me. That is four, five or eight by Sudoku. I was gonna say by all the powers, but that doesn't mean anything now. Um, can this cage be 2, 6, and a 3, 4, or 5? I think it can. Although, again, that will force the 6 here and the 2 here on the diagonal. And that would be a 1 now. That would force one onto the diagonal. Ah, and this would be a two, three, four, five cage. Maybe that's a problem now. Right, let's just add up the numbers in the final two columns and consider if this is a two, three, four, five cage. Because then we've got two, three, four, five, nine, eight, six, seven. We're going to be using two ones and all the other digits. 9 there. I don't know. I have a feeling there's a much neater way of going about this puzzle than I'm managing. But I am nonetheless going to try and soldier away at it and, and work my way through it. Because that's what I do. 8 or 3 there. Eight, three, two, nine, five, one, 
four, six, seven. <sighs> there has to be a two in one of those cells. It's not the diagonal. I don't think that's doing any work here. This can't be from three, two, well, it can't be from two or one. So this pair I don't know, I'm really struggling to get a handle on how to finish this. Goodness me, how can it be this difficult? Let's look down this final column. Now, if that's a six, I don't know. I haven't really got a plan for if it's a six. Well, then this couldn't be two and six. That's interesting. So if that was a six, this would have to be one, two, seven. And how many ones and twos can we fit in these final columns? Got to have a one in there. We've got to have one of them here. No, that's not that's not a valid question. It's what's well, not an interesting question. Oh this is so strange. I honestly thought when I suddenly put all the nines in the grid that we're, we're now coasting. We're now nearly home. We can finish off in a moment. Couldn't have been more wrong. One and four down here. Or these, one, two, four, five, eight are the candidates, but I've got millions of candidates for these numbers. I only exaggerate very slightly there, of course. Um, I don't even know what to think about. Eight in this box is either on the diagonal there or in one of those two. If it's in one of those two, it's also there and it's also there. Now, in that case, that's quite interesting. So if eight's in one of those two cells, then it's, given where it is elsewhere, it's off the diagonal in all the corner boxes and therefore must be in the central cell. However, the alternative in box three is that X is there. So, X, eight, sorry, eight is there. I don't know why I suddenly called it X. Eight's place on the diagonal is in one of those two cells. Ergo. Um, and if it's here, it's there and there. We've already got it there and there. We're going to put it in one of those two. Now, it's on both diagonals in this case. So... It's got to be off them in the central box. Can't be in the seven cage, so it would have to be in one of those cells. And it's also in one of those. So eight would be in these positions in the puzzle, which are very different from if eight's in the central cell. so frustrating that I don't know which it is. Right, either way, I think if eight's there and not on this diagonal, it's in one of those. How did this work? It had to be on the center. Oh, that's interesting. It always ends up being here. 
Wow, okay, I'm just gonna check that. So if it's in one of those two, we can place it. I'm gonna color it now. I think there is an overlap on the diagonal. It has to be there. Um, it's gonna be in one of those two. Oh, this doesn't work. Right, if eight was in one of those cells, eight there and eight there, the eight in box four is in one of those two. The eight on the diagonal, the diagonals has to be there. But eight in row six cannot exist then. Wow, that is complicated. So eight can't be in one of those cells and must be here in box three. It's not in the center. Now, please let that do something. It puts eight there, which is on the diagonal. That puts eight here. We've now got a three, four, five, triple. Nine, eight, right. We can't, well, this can't be min, max, two, six, because it would need either a one or a seven to go with them. So it is one, two, seven, and this is a six to go with the three. That makes sense. Okay, this is one, two, seven, and didn't I know something about how they were going to dispose? Oh, I thought I did, but maybe we'll come back to that. Now, on the diagonal, we've got one, two, four, and five on the main one to place. On this other one, not much going on, but we need eight in one of those cells now, and an eight in one of those, and we've had eights on the diagonal. That is an eight, and that is an eight, which was what I was planning to do with the coloring. Okay. Sevens. <laughs> Sevens next, presumably. Can I not use this one, two, seven better? Well, this can take anything other than a nine. It's one, I need six, three. I don't know. A one and two, no. Right, let's think about the one, two, seven. Let's just calm down and ponder it. Oh, well, first of all, four and five have to be on this bit of this diagonal in box three, uh, box five is what I'm trying to say. So these can't be from four, five, nine, or eight. No, I don't know what they are though. One, two, eight, nine, seven, no. Um, well, I've finally learned that when you think you've made a breakthrough in this puzzle, you basically haven't, except for the one or two digits that you get at the time. This doesn't have a six in it. There we go. So it is two, three, four, five. Weird, right? But useful, very useful. I think that, well, it's an X wing on. Th okay, let's add up all the, or let's use all the digits. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine there. There is a one there, and there must be a one here. That's not a one. So the one that we've used here is fine. Then the other digits are gonna be a one there, six, nine, an eight here, a three there, a four, five pair between those, and either two or seven there, and either two or seven in one of these cells. This, oh, there's a three, four, five, trio in the final column so that's a one these ones aren't because one of those is a one that was blooming obvious but i didn't see it three four five one nine eight six so these are from two seven eight that's a quad as well because we've got another three four five triple in this column if i could just notice these things as they come up that would be really helpful the one in this column is placed, it's there. That's on the diagonal, which makes us have two, four, five on the central bit. Um, nine, eight, so everything else is one, three, seven, six. Those are from three, six, seven. Um, None of these are any use in determining their cage counts anymore. Everything I've marked is effectively finished with as, as 
irrelevant tripe from now on. Gosh. So I'm going to keep having to use the diagonals, I think. That can't be a five. Oh, that is a two, because the twos are looking at those two cells, which are a four, five pair. So that two, we don't have a two there. That two will, if the form of this puzzle is anything like what I've come to expect, tell me nothing. Um, it is telling me nothing. That is absolute classic. 1983. We've got a 4 5 pair. So these are from 2 6 7. One. What's this? Not a three. So one of those is definitely a three. And one of those is a three, and that's an X-wing, and gives me a three in box eight. With four or six to go there. I, I mean, I must have some sort of one, three, four, five, six quint or something going on. Four, five. That is one, six, or seven by things it can see horizontally and vertically. This puzzle should not be this hard, and I expect you to be reporting in the comments that you didn't find it that hard and you don't understand why I have. So don't let me down like I'm letting myself down. Wow, how do you finish it? Why is it so tough for me? Three, four, five, triple. Four, five, pair there. Now, if that was four, that's five, that's three... I don't know. Two. Does two have to be in this? I don't think it does. Two could still be outside the cage if it was there. Then one, three, four, six would be in the cage, and that would be a seven. One of those is a seven. This has been fraught with quite difficult steps throughout. Oh, one of those is a two, so that's not a two. That's hardly interesting, but I'm doing it. One of those is an eight. Am I missing some fundamental cage? Yeah, mm, no. As long as I get one and seven into there, it's fine. There is a seven in one of these. That's. Ah, I see. Is that... No, hang on. Why was I thinking there had to be a 7 in one of these cells? Don't know, but it's not true. That could be 7 and that could be 1. Or could it? If that was seven and that was one, that would be four. Ooh, this would be a five eight pair. And that would be one. I don't know can't see any obvious remote pairs going on or 
5829. I'm sorry about this. I mean, really, we are just on to dogged persistence at this point to try and finish the puzzle. One in this column can't be there, so it's in one of those two cells. Then in this column, one of these three, and in this column, one of those two. Oh, okay. That can't be a one because it's already in this cage. Those can't be a one because of the 12 cage. That is the only place for one in, column, in row two. I mean, it's that simple. Honestly, sometimes dogged persistence doesn't feel as useful as actual brain. Um, but sometimes it's needed to get the job done. Right, we've got a three, six, seven, triple there. So one of those is a three. I knew that before. One, nine. This is not a seven. Seven has now turned up here, not here. Now on the diagonal, seven has to be there. That's a three. This is one or six. That's not seven. So this is a one seven pair. Can't see that that's done already. Um, two, one, six, nine, eight. Where is seven in this row? Could be in either of these cages. At two, eight, I can't see that that's done. Five, four, okay, let's think about, oh, we've got a one on the diagonal, so that's six. And this is four in the corner. Right, we we'll take out ones there. This becomes a one. This is three or four. Um, that is two, four, or five. Um, still not done. It is probably the cages now. There is probably some very obvious thing that can't go somewhere. Or the diagonal again. That can't be a six. So that's two. What do we have to put on there? Oh, we've got a four on this diagonal. So five in the center of the puzzle. Four there. That's not a four. The five in the center is fixed. Eight, five. That fixes eight, two. That can't be a five. We've got these can't be a two. That's a three, four, six, triple. That's a two. That's not a two. The two in the cage goes there. That's finishing the diagonal with a three in the corner, losing its religion. Um, and that fixes four and five down here. That looks across and does six, three, four over there. That does six, five. And we can at last finish. And I'm so sorry, this has taken nearly an hour again today. What is up with me? I don't know. This is 357, and I can just fill them in by Sudoku. As with 54 there, as with 71 here, and now 146. And I hope this is the right answer. Wow. Great work, Sudoku. I did not know that was going to be so difficult. That seems like a very simple idea rule set, but I really struggled. Anyway, thank you for sticking with me. I'm glad that you did, and uh, I'm glad to get to the end. See you again tomorrow, hopefully for a quicker one. Bye for now.